Hi, it's Rick from Rick Chat RC. How are you going? Today I've got a very special video that I'm putting together, and it actually marks a very special occasion for me. It's uh, you might say it's a bit of an anniversary flight, something that's uh, been occurring over the last eight years. I don't think it was something I was aiming for, but um, as time went on, I realised. I was sort of getting to a stage where I realized this is possible, more possible than I ever thought before. And it's not something that I've ever done before either. So you might say I was um, one man with one mission, with one heli, and uh, yeah, I don't know what else I can say, but um, I finally reached one thousand flights with my helicopter you might remember a few months back I did a review on this and back then I I think I was up around the 945 flight range if you like and uh, I finally hit a thousand flights I've put this Blade 400 helicopter through 1,000 flights that's 1,000 battery packs 1,000 charges and despite it being a discontinued model um, Despite despite parts being reasonably hard to get, um, this is still going pretty strong. And if you ever wanted to fly an economical helicopter that was uh, cheap on the pocket, uh, cheap on spare parts, a 400 or a 450 is the way to go. And I did say in my last video after 1,000 flights I was going to retire her but um, I don't think I'm going to yet I might just continue to fly this until the, the next accident <laughs> or the next incident I don't know what that's gonna be I hope there isn't one but look it's bound to happen as you continue to learn more and more as you continue to become better and better I have to say you do continue to push the envelope and inevitably something else will happen so as i said folks 1000 flights this baby has been through 1000 flights i've got some flight review to show you following this so i've uh, i've been looking forward to the day during the last couple of months or so where this day would finally arrive and i'm really really happy to be able to um share it with you finally so just to recap on how good this Halley has been for me. What's the best thing about this Halley? Well, as far as I'm concerned, the the price, the operating um, costs, cheapest chips to fly, cheapest chips to operate, runs on a 2200 mAh 3S battery, and it's been fantastic. I, like I said, I've put 1,000 packs through this. Now, I haven't owned 1,000 separate 3s lipos but i have certainly put through this baby 1000 of those packs uh, the worst part about this heli i'd have to say is the motor and i think i mentioned that in my last video too the um the air flight motor it's never been durable for me now maybe there are others out there who've had a really good run with it um, I think for the price you pay, I don't think the motor has been anywhere near as durable as it could have been. But um, hey, you live and learn. And you adapt, you adjust, you revise, and you try other things. Try other things. So that's what I ended up doing. I have tried other things. I did replace the motor. I put in an Assault 3800 KV 450 Halley motor, which I got from Hobby King. And I wasn't sure how this motor was going to go. It was only about 18 or 20 bucks, I think 25 bucks all up by the time. 
Shipping was included at the time and it was so cheap that I decided to buy two of them. And I think I also mentioned in my last video, I haven't had to use the second motor yet. This motor has been outstanding. Nah, it hasn't fallen apart. The bearings are still fine. There's no, uh, there's no play in the shaft. It's fantastic. The other intriguing thing for me about this heli is for three quarters of its life. Now, by that I mean for at least seven hundred and fifty flights. I've been flying this baby stock, stock servos, stock gyro. Uh, I did change the motor early on. I already mentioned that. Um, stock tail rotor blades. They're still plastic. Everything else on it is still plastic. I only changed the the main rotor blades to carbon very early on because it was just the easiest thing to do. I didn't really break the old blades. The wooden blades were still fine. I just wanted to upgrade it slightly without going overboard. Um, and of course I changed the servo motors to the new or to the well um, represented and reliable high-tech servos and I also mentioned previously that these high-tech servos are absolutely amazing uh, I had a couple of instances following the installation of those servos where I did land a bit hard uh, I wouldn't call it a crash but I did land a bit hard I have had to crash as well and the servos didn't strip which is good news but they're so strong that I ended up bending the cyclic push rod here so that's how strong reliable and durable those high-tech servos are so 1000 flights guys 1000 flights I don't know if anyone else can lay claim to putting a thousand flights through anything that they own so for me personally it's a it's just something nice to have done and I'm really glad to be able to be sharing it with you today 1000 flights through one particular model and it's still going strong that's the best part about it still going strong um, the canopy looks a bit worse for wear <laughs> that's fair enough yeah, it's come apart here and there I dropped it a little bit sometimes it cracked I've re-glued it I'm holding it together with some tape as well you know so what it does the job it works it's a nice color I can see it in the air but 1,000 flights it's an outstanding model and I trust there are other 400 or 450 helis that are equally outstanding uh, as you'll notice, it uses the uh, fly bar here. It's not um, without this. Uh, this. This is a bit of a pain when you have an incident and you bend it and you've got to replace it and pull it out. But, um, you know, a thousand flights. I mean, this thing has stood up at the test of time. You do the right thing, you look after what you have, and the item looks after itself for you back. So, 1,000 flights and still going strong. Uh, what else did I change? What else did I change? Ah, yes, the, the 25 amp ESC. I did have a couple of failures with those. I think I had two or three early on. Uh, well inside the 400 flight mark, I think. And um, I finally decided to upgrade it to the 35 amp. Now luckily for me, on each occasion when the ESC failed, I was on the ground. It wasn't in the air. So I just finished flying, I put another pack in, I was about to take off. I engaged it, I started to put the throttle up and nothing happened. So it had actually failed on me or for me while I was on the ground. So on that note, I guess I'd been lucky. The other thing I'm really, really proud to announce is that the drive belt on one of these has lasted easily 750 plus flights. And the only reason why I changed it was because I had a major incident where I crashed. I was flying too low to the ground. I love flying low to the ground. And I, I don't know why I didn't apply throttle. I was just coming too close to the ground. 
as I was turning and I just hit the ground. I didn't, I don't know why I didn't react enough or quick enough. But anyway, bent the tail boom, ruined uh, this back section here. I had to buy a few extra parts to rebuild the tail rotor section and the hub section. So that forced me to undo the tail boom, disconnect the tail rotor, drive belt, and finally change the belt. Now the belt did show a lot of signs of cracking, but it was still in one piece and it had not split or broken. Um, but I, I imagine eventually it would have happened. So I can say that the drive belt in one of these has easily and does easily last 750 plus flights in fact probably close to 800 i don't know if i'd recommend flying that long without changing it but uh hey i did it it worked i can say it works that's probably the best part about it so you know this is testament to how durable this has been for me um what else can i tell you uh yeah that's i i changed the landing gear struts to something larger i took uh, something that came from a 500 heli and i put them on because i wanted more height off the back here every time it sat on the ground the tail rotor not the tail rotor the tail rotor fin i always touched the ground or scraped the ground and I, I personally don't like that i like it to be a few centimeters up from the ground uh, especially when you're coming in and you're flaring for the landing you don't want the tail section to hit first but anyway that's just me uh, it still looks pretty good and it still flies and this is still flying for me so the blade 400 3d helicopter it came with the spectrum six channel dx6i transmitter and straight out of the box i can tell you now it flies ready to go all you have to do is charge the battery all you had to do was charge the battery and take off or learn to fly it if you didn't already know how to um, fly it it was also pre-configured for 3d flight so you didn't have to do anything except flick a switch and you could already fly upside down and or 3d out of the box i don't know if i've ever come across any other helicopter that's not a toy that's been ready to fly in this state out of the box now I know I've seen some others which are you know no bigger than the palm of your hand uh, they don't count they're toys for me but something this size that just comes ready to go out of the box is or has been amazing you know some might say well you know how much did you really learn or what do you really learn if you don't have to if you don't build it yourself well, I'll tell you now, with all the rebuilds that I have done because of the crashes that I've had, the crashes that I've experienced, the incidences I've gone through, I mean, I've had server failure. I've been flying around and out of the blue, this thing's just come out of the sky uh, for, for some unknown reason and I've tried to correct it and it made me look like and made me feel like I didn't know what the hell I was doing. And I discovered later on I actually had a cyclic server failure. It happens to anyone? It can happen to anyone. It's just the way that, just the way it is. So I, you know, I always test everything before I fly, before I take off. It doesn't matter how good the last flight was. Always do a ground test first. Um, yeah, it's been an amazing heli for me, and I still love it. I'm going to have to replace it because I want to get something where there are lots and lots of spare parts around and available for it. So I'm looking at either a T-Rex or a, um, a Copter-X or a Tarot or an LZRC Heli. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind doing a review on each of those ones actually. Uh, funding is a little bit tight at times so I can't just rush out and get all three or four of those um, but I can if uh, the channel starts to get supported a little bit more because this is what I'm into guys helis I, I mean I do love my planes that's what I started with I do love my quads um, but helis
helicopters are my absolute favorite. I've got a 600 in the background. I don't know if you can see it in the back on top of the fridge there. I always keep it covered off, away from the dust. But I've got myself uh, yeah, a 600, which I'm going to take out soon. And I'm going to do some flight reviews and some videos on that as well. So I'll share that one with you when the time is right. But for now, 1,000 flights. I'm just in absolute awe of the fact that I can say that. I've been documenting every flight, logging it on a piece of pad paper and just counting down the number of flights that this has been through. So, and, and the reason why I did that when I started flying was because I didn't think it was acceptable enough to say, you know, you can meet someone and they'll tell you, yeah, I've been flying for five years, I've been flying for eight years, I've been flying for three years, you know. I mean, that sounds pretty good and that's pretty awesome. But for me personally, I didn't think it was good enough just to say, I've been flying for six months or I've been flying for two years or I've been flying for five years, you know. I can tell you now I've been flying this for eight years, right? But what does that actually mean? I've been flying for eight years. You know, maybe I'm having three or four flights once a month. I've been flying for eight years. You know, what have I learned? How much have I gone through? So eight years is one thing, but I wanted to record the actual number of flights. Right? So at an average of four and a half to five minutes, I've done one thousand of those flights and that's what I want to be able to tell people apart from the fact that I've been flying this particular model alone I mean I've been flying others but this particular model alone because it's small it's cheap it's easy I've been flying this one alone and I've put it through 1,000 flights over the last eight years and I'm going to exceed that 1,000 flight figure and who knows Maybe I'll be able to come back and tell you I've put it through 1,100 flights. So, tell me guys, has anyone else out there with a heli or a quad or um, a plane or a glider? I, I don't know. I'm talking aircraft now. Has anyone else, can anyone else lay claim to putting through a 1,000 flights through one particular aircraft that they own. Right? 1,000 flights. I've just got to keep saying that because it just sounds absolutely amazing even to me. 1,000 flights. Continue watching. I'm going to have a display of the flight performance of this following. Uh, I've actually recorded my 1,000th flight in the park. Uh, I've waited a long time for the weather to be right to do this because uh, I don't go out in just any type of weather. Uh, I'm not here to fight the elements. I'm here to enjoy my flying. 1,000 flights, guys. I've put this Blade 400 3D helicopter through 1,000 flights. Thanks for watching flight review coming up shortly here I am guys at the park what a glorious day this is look at it blue sky green grass just the right amount of cloud cover a motorcycle having fun in the distance we're all out having fun today this is where you want to be when the weather's like this a light breeze in the distance as I said along with that motorbike noise <laughs> I'm about to record the 1,000th flight of my Blade RC helicopter. This is an inaugural flight. It is an absolute fantastic achievement for myself. Anniversary flight. 1,000 flights, guys. Just enjoy it because I surely am as well.
Here we go. I'll tell you what, it feels so effortless right now. Beautiful day, beautiful weather. This thing's floating through the air. I love my life flying passes.
I did it.